Hey everyone, Paul the Sound Guy, product specialist for Shure, and today we're looking at Shure's SM series of microphones. These legendary microphones have spanned the last 40 plus years and have become standards in both the studio and on stage. We're gonna look at these all time great microphones and a couple you might not be familiar with. For many years, engineers actually mic the kick with an SM57. Heck, you can mic the whole kit with nothing but 57s, so we're going to use the SM57 as our inside kick mic, and the great broadcast mic, the SM7B, as our kick outer mic. The SM7B has become synonymous with broadcast, vocals, and even hi-hat, but today we're going to use it as our outer kick mic. Let's hear how they sound separately and then together. When most people think of a snare mic, they think of the SM57. With its great mid-range dip and high-end boost, it really adds clarity and articulation to the snare. We know what this sounds like on the snare, but let's listen again anyway. One of the most popular hi-hat microphones is the SM81. Today I thought we'd highlight the SM137. The SM137 gives you accurate response to capture the natural sound and detail from any source. It has a quick response, smooth high end and tight bass with a 15 dB pad and low self noise. Let's hear the SM137 on hi-hat. When I said you could mic the whole drum kit with SM57s, I wasn't kidding. Our popular DMK5752 drum mic kit features just a Beta 52 for kick and three SM57s for snare and toms. So let's hear the SM57 on our rack and floor toms. For overheads, we'll use a space pair of SM27s. The SM27 is a rugged, large diaphragm side address condenser that has a warm extended low end and smooth high end with a 15 dB pad and three position low frequency filter. It's a great choice for just about anything. Let's hear them on the overheads. For our mono stereo room mics, we're going to use the SM81 for mono and SM27s as our space pair. The SM81 has become an industry standard for miking acoustic instruments with its flat frequency response, three position high pass filter, and 10 dB pad. Let's hear how they sound separately. Now that we have everything set up, let's take a listen to the SM series of microphones. The SM7B has become a popular microphone for hi-hat, but I thought we'd mix things up and put them on toms. Let's hear how it sounds separately and then with the whole kit.
That's it. I hope you learned something new and useful about the SM series of microphones. As always, position your microphone, listen back on headphones or your monitors, move the mic around to find the best position for your instrument and your mic selection. Thanks for watching and stay creative. Oh, 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 oh,